Hello everybody, it's the PTV, also known as Peyton, and this is my fifth vlog video, if it is not, don't hate on this video, please. And it's Easter. It's Easter. So yeah. Go quickly. You can see me coming down in the comments about things below. So we're gonna be Basically, what we're gonna do we're gonna celebrate Easter. And I lost the tooth. Yeah? Oh. Turn it off and give me a book. Come on. Okay. I'm not. Uh. I'm getting very confused now. Um, guys, it's snowing and Easter. Look, it's snowing. It's, it's, it's Easter. It's spring, not Christmas. Who's doing this? Stay on top. It's, it's spring, not, not, not Christmas. What the heck? That was really weird, guys. So yeah. So yeah. So let's get up. My hands are here. Now, now I can't find any books. I can't find any. <laughs> Fine, I'll find one in the scrapbook room. I don't know what I should do because it's snowing outside. I do not know what one to read to you. You didn't get a book. To read. I do not know what one to do because I am not I do not know what one to do. I do not know what one to do. Oh, 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 Look, bloppy blop, bloppy blop, bloppy blop, blop, bloppy bleep blop, 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 it's a new Christmas spirit. Oh, the same The day. The crayons. The crayons are. What? I want you to read this. This was <coughs> the day the crayons quit. Oh no! And then there's oh, there's. Okay. 
This is good. The day the crayons quit. One day in class, and guys, Duncan went I'm to his sorry and found a stack of letters with his name on them. It's like two. Now, wait, put that down. Let's put that down. To, put that down. to Duncan. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out calling fire ends, apples, stripers, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to have to call all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts at Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard's hats. But it makes me crazy so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that Brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies while the only thing I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and weed. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend. Beige crayon. Duncan, gray crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even think, and don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things. Such big animals. Baby penguins are gray, you know. So are very tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, Gray Crayon. Did Paisley cover the color then? Dear Duncan. Your color, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you are using me on, white. If I don't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only using the color snow, or just fill in an empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, white crayon. Why cat in the snow by Duncan? <laughs> Love it. Love it. Daddy, what? What's going on here? Why are the giant snowflakes falling down? And Easter. I think there's another page of it. Funny. Well, the bunnies are white. Okay. This is another page. I'm sorry. There was another page. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are colored in by other colors, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, black crayon. Dear Duncan, as green crayon, I am ready for two reasons. One, to say that I like my workloads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problem with it. Congratulate you on a very successful coloring things. Green career so far. Karen, did you see him go over there and grab his thing? I have no problem. And I wish to congratulate you on a very successful coloring things. Green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends, yellow crayon and orange crayon who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. You're happy, crayon. 
green paint. Hey, Karen. Yes, Ruby. He went over there and grabbed his leaf. Yeah. He grabbed the, the <coughs> harness. Dear Duncan, yellow crayon here. I need you to tell orange crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking, and I can prove I'm the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your Happy Farm coloring book. You want to go outside? In case you're, you've forgotten, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal, and the true color of the okay. sun, yellow crayon. Uh oh. <laughs> Dear Duncan, I see yellow crayon already talked to you, the big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I am clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday you used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your day at the zoo, coloring book. Orange, you glad I'm here? Ha! Your pal, in the real color of the sun, orange crayon. Meet the Zookeeper, Monkey Island. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year, and the year before that, and the year before that. I have really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I'm so short and stubby, I can't even see over the railing in the grand blocks anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Duncan, okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I am a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister. I said thank you for using me to color in her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now, back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, pink. Dear Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't ever have any underwear. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help your naked friend, Peach Crayon. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color. And of course, he wanted his crayon to be happy. And that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. And an A plus for creativity. That is awesome. The end. That is the cutest book I've ever read. What is it called? Mommy, you use some of that again. You someone daddy get down so we can open our um, Yeah, but we're not gonna tape it, Peyton. I said tape it. Because I'm gonna use this small and not worry about I can tape myself. So guys, peace out. Have a peaceful day. And in the next episode, we are going to be opening our baskets. Peace out. Thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.